Brutal for burning. Good morning. Oh, hi. Good morning. <laughs> welcome to welcome to the Van Life Coffee Shop. Yeah, I didn't film from the coffee shop. That's where everything happened in the morning. Here. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I don't know why you're cleaning in my coffee cup. My <laughs> He's empty. Because I've got to pull the tray out to. Uh... Then he can make another one. <laughs> yeah. You can, do it. you can do it. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's got to be the, the, the pitchy voice. It's got to be the dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a bone yes. for you. Oh, now. you bring me a bone. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, yes. Pardon me, sir. Yes. Is it possible to have another one of your fabulous coffees? Me first, man. I already pushed my cup. No, 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 no. Yours. This one's smaller. It'll fit. It's faster. <laughs> Knock her head every she time. She pops into every. <laughs> Good morning, Kitty. Yeah. You protecting the van? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We are currently in uh, Overland North. Saturday morning. Uh, we just arrived yesterday. It was amazing so far. And we're gonna spend the weekend here but it's not just an overland truck event i think i think it's gonna be a food event too as well because we've been eating all the time and this morning we have what's called ontario pancake yep. on the dutch oven i have no idea what it is but it sounds yummy everything fresh Crushy made. You're crazy. Good morning. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll definitely be starting to bark. And they had to come up with a formal hybrid. So we are with the, the Dutch oven expert. I'm not the expert. This is the first time I see that. It's cool. A lot of butter. An apple. <laughs> some chalk on top. Some. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for that, like, no, no. And each goal raises it by, like, how many degrees? 15 degrees. Uh, 15 yeah, degrees. Well, is, the, is the expert. <laughs> I was telling her, she should keep a bag of coals in the back, that way when she's cooking on a campfire, she can control the top of it. Mm -hmm. anyway, yes, right? yep, yeah, if you're doing it on a campfire, you add the coals, but you can do the same thing with the coals off the fire. Yeah. So the only problem with wood coals is that you don't know what your temperature is. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's a guess. That's my guess. But I guess. Yeah. You know, it's fine if you're doing uh, liquids that you're just boiling. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to bake something, yeah, then you, then you want it. Then you want to use the briquettes. Yeah. And uh, rule of thumb is to get 350 degrees you you use double the size of the Dutch oven so a bigger Dutch oven so if it's a 12 inch Dutch oven which this is yeah 350 degrees will be 24 coals and if you want to get it if you want to go up in temperature but the only thing you add basically one coal for every 15 degrees I need, I need this thing yeah, too. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as you use that, I can see him and go, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I need that. I need a little, little tray I need too to raise my Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. it smells good already. <laughs> looking good. Just about done. Oh, looking good. Yeah. Smelling good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
just about there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ontario pancake, guys. So, apple, cinnamon, sugar, butter in the bottom, and pancake batter on top. Do you have a plate? Oh, no. Is it good? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun. I'm going for a little off road adventure. So there is like a little ratty that people can do and Irvine are just, I don't know, probably gonna go check it out with this guy anyway but we don't want it like going too crazy so uh, this guy offered Chrome to go for a little ride so that's where he's going this morning. Having a good time? Yes, <laughs> you're doing so good. I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but my god, it's got a lot of people. So I think there's got like more than 165 rigs this weekend. It's pretty crazy. I love to see like what people do to have something like, you know, they live mostly outside their van because it's just like small little Jeep, but everything is just made to be like super like portable, be able to pack everything super fast. So it's pretty cool to see that. So obviously those van, those Jeep I should say, <laughs> uh, those overland rig are way different than the van life in that sense that like I said they mostly live outside but in the same sense they do have to deal with the same thing as us which is to have water, to bring their home bathroom, to figure out whether you're gonna shower and things like this and like they, like I said, just like amazed me to see all those little rig and obviously they don't most of them don't do it full time They do it on the weekend and things like this, but I think it's like amazing little idea of People you guys who want to do van life just for the weekend or just in the summer You can totally build your own van with the order and just maximize the order part which I realize when I'm here that I definitely didn't do that with my van and when I'm gonna rebuild my van this winter I really want to put like an outdoor kitchen and things like this to enjoy the outdoor when I built my van Kitty was a little bit more shy of everything inside uh, the van she didn't want to go like really that far outside and things like this and so I didn't build my van based on that. So I was like, well, I cannot really cook outside because Kitty have to be inside and you know, I'm not gonna be able to open the door and things like this. But now that she's doing super good, like today I have so much dogs and dogs barking and people and she did amazing in the last meetup too as well. Like nothing else that, you know, make me realize that I definitely, definitely should put like more emphasis on the outdoor and you know, in the summer, it's nice to spend the whole summer out there. How are we looking? Is there, uh, is there still people walking over here? Are we all around? Looking pretty good. Look at this. Dude, this thing is cool, man. Here. No. I know myself. No. Let's go. Come on, girl. Just a Let's little go for a meaty ride. Two, two vans yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. vans. What happened, Rainer? The dog took your uh, seat. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> What a great weekend, guys. Oh, uh, this was the first time I've done something like this. <laughs> you try to attack me while I'm talking on camera? They see you. They saw you attacking me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do I say? What a great evening, guys. It was a lot of fun. 
uh, this was my first time doing uh, some kind of like gathering like this and oh my god it was like it was fun uh, the community here is just amazing people are just so welcoming helping each other giving tip or things like that to everyone it's just so amazing and people with so many different rig from the big like you know jeep already like you know like crazy done to the pickup truck to people sleeping in the tent sleeping on like a roof tent and two people in the van too as well doing the off-road uh backcountry whatever you want to call it in a different way but just i think someone said that and i really think it was totally true of this event it was really a big celebration of the outdoor like people who enjoy be outside doing camping or just exploring with their rig um yeah, a big celebration of the outdoor and we had some pretty good weather <laughs> a little tiny little bit of rain not too much most likely pretty good it was supposed to pour in rain all weekend so uh no complaint on the weather it was amazing and like i said people are just like so awesome um a lot of fun um i hope i'm gonna be able to join another event like this on the west coast maybe uh, i don't know i'm gonna keep my eyes and looking for that because yeah it was a lot of fun so um all right i'm gonna let you with kitty which uh, seems to want to say something to you <laughs> or oh, attack me i'm not quite sure all right guys Whew, i'm getting tired so i'm gonna let you with kitty that's you q that's your time that's your time on the tv now you want to give a kiss no, you don't want to do a kiss. Kitty. There you go, there, little kiss. <laughs> You're crazy tonight. Are you crazy tonight? I think you are. I think I'm going to be in trouble tonight. All right, we will see you in the next one. Oh, more kiss before we go. Oh, thank you, Kitty. <laughs> You're biting the mic right now. <laughs> That's not really a kiss. <laughs> Alright. See you in the next one, guys.